shining the weather is great and it's time for that show that keeps you up to date with entertainment it also informs you and lets you know what you want to my name is Toka Makingwa and today on trending I have an amazing guest I say amazing because this guy is too cool for school you are watching trending by the way this is hip TV if you guys don't know just in case you're just tuned in and you're wondering now we're gonna go on a quick break when I come back you will meet my too cool for school guest we'll be right back They say you're only young ones. There's no debating, we are debating. There's no limitation. Sample your swag. We going higher, started rapping night and still making it. Do your wish. You're young at heart, you're young forever! Come alive with Airtel. Welcome back. Now, if you just tuned in, you tuned in right in time. I am about to introduce my guest. He's not only famous for his distinctive traditional caps, which he wears on and off. Hmm. He's a very, very skilled DJ. He mixes his spins and he's called DJ Spin Off. Hi. Hi. Oh. So let's let's clarify this. Spin off, spin now, spins all. Because I've had I'm just, all sorts of versions of. I'm you. just weak. When I was coming, somebody called me spin off. I'm just tired. Another person called you spin off. Like today. all kinds of spanner, spin off, spin span. So how did the name spin off start? Um, it's not far fetched. Basically, you know. I discovered that while DJing, a lot of people have different tastes to music, like different genres, you know. And as a DJ, you can't just focus on Afro pop or or hip hop or whatever you know genre. So I wanted to be that guy that satisfies everybody, you know. Oh, so he's spinning everything, yeah, different like, genres. I mean, in my audience, you have someone that likes hip hop, someone that likes funky house, you know, tech. You know, I just try to bring all that flavor. Oh my God. Mix. Now I must say this, you are too cool for school. Oh, Every time I see, see you, you've got the you know, traditional <laughs> swag going yeah, on. Yeah, the African, like, African you know, attire. Is this, is this <laughs> spin all thinking, you know, I'm going to be a DJ and I'm going to be a cool DJ. Right? <laughs> so just relax while I wear my hat. Wanted me, this cap is going to be on my head all the time. I mean, what is the, the whole idea of this <clears throat> cap? Okay, um, I said this often enough, but I'm going to say it again. You see, when I was growing up, yeah, uh, <clears throat> my dad loves to party, you okay. know, he's an African gentleman, typical, you know, so every Saturday when it's going out, he just come in front of the mirror and just be like, <laughs> Wow. She will look good. Am I all right? And he's gone, you know. <laughs> so I was a kid then. I used to watch him like, what is wrong with this man? <laughs> you know, so one day, I mean, I just be like, ah, what could this mean? As I grow up, you know, I get to understand that the Yoruba parties, when they're going out, they have, you know, the if complete, you know. So, living back to today's thing, what I do now, mm -hmm. being a DJ, you know, I'm the life of the party. So, when you see me wear this, you should know that. It's kind of like tan top. You know? You're the tan top king. I can't believe so, you're saying tan top. Guys, forgive me. No, but, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're a DJ. Yes, and, boss. You know, I've had a couple of DJs on my show, and I'm very fascinated by your lifestyles. You know, Thank I, you. I, I keep saying, I remember when being a DJ wasn't something that people thought was cool. Yeah, I mean, DJs were those area boys that just, they, they, hey, they, come they, and play in this they, they, they didn't it's get cool. it right. Yeah, so what is your story? How did you get into this? Um, passion, basically passion, you know. After, um, after I went to school, I just decided that, look, I'm not going to start looking for jobs. I mean, I have something I love to do, and 
it all boils down to you know discovering what God gives you as a talent and being able to take it to the, you, you know the next level. I didn't want I didn't want to DJ like professionally. I wanted it to be like a side thing, a you know, come back from that Chevron work and just go somewhere and just do it quietly. But the Chevron job didn't come. And <laughs> you, know? you guys make a lot of money. Uh, yeah, they do, they do, they do. Now, because let me be honest with you, you know, young boys today, if yeah. they do not want to be a musician, they want to be actors. If they're not actors, then they want to be DJs. That's that's cool like though. Everyone wants everyone goes to a party and I was like, Who's playing in that party? Yeah, ah, that's cool. Spin up. I'll be there. And I've, I've watched Like you. the party we, we did know, at uh, I, Polo I watch, Club. I watch DJ Spino, ladies and gentlemen. I have to say this guy is such an entertainer. Like everyone was yeah. dancing, he had the it was mic, fun. he did his thing. It was fun. It was I, fun. I, I, I like how confident you two, you were like booty. I started dancing. <laughs> and that was the first time we actually had a Yeah, 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 true, true, true. True. And I found out they actually come from a family with qualified people in terms of different yes, so we'll uh, do. fields. Yes. So how did your siblings feel about you? Saying, wow. Well, I'm going to be a banker, a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Lawyer. It was. It was. You know. It was. I mean, I feel like for parents that come up and and just question what you're doing is because they care. You know, I see it that way. I see it beyond them. You know, just trying to get you to do what it do. You know. I mean, if I wake up sometimes and my daughter wants to do something, you know, now in the professional look, you have to question. You have to just, you know. So, I mean, after I read engineering all that years in school and going out to try to also a master's degree, all that, you know, all school P, parents will always ask, like, are you, <laughs> are you okay, you know. So tell me about the day you my, had the conversation with your folks. Oh, my my dad is my dad is hot pleased when it comes to you know because he, I mean he's he's red and my elder sister is a medical doctor. Well, let me just brag for you. My dad is an amazing elder sister. Yeah. He's top top top. When you Google like top ten uh, international medical you know. doctors, his sister is there. Mm. So I mean, yeah. she's only. <laughs> <laughs> she's a big fan. She's a big fan she of you. Yeah, she always yeah, she always she always talks about you. She to kema kwa ma yolo ma yolo ma to dalo ma to kema kwa. And we get married. Nobody knew. That's very good. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you guys. <laughs> but you know, I think if you're able to convince your folks about what you do. So how did you convince them? Because you might be saving someone's lives. You know, like what you uh, are thinking. How I convinced them was not. I think I just kept doing what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Why they were you moving in the background and be like, oh, you will come back home one day and wants to change his mind. I kept going, you know. Then myself and Two Face flew out of the country for a concert one time. Then my sister saw it on TV. I'm like, oh. huh? He's serious, oh? Eh? Two Face, you know. So they started, oh. they started having. A yeah. different perspective about it. Oh, yeah. it's not just joking. You know. Wow, she, what she, event was that? I think well, we did we did a lot actually. Okay. We did a lot within Nigeria and Africa, and, and she was like, ah, "This guy is actually serious," you know. So it was that moment right there they started believing like it's not a joke, oh, you know. Wow. This guy is actually making money from this. And, and every, everyone can relate. And to the that. glow, the glow, the glow event was wow. also. Yeah, Ooh, I talked wow. with glow, and they were so happy. Oh, I can imagine how that felt like. <laughs> now, you're among the very uh, uh, select few DJs in the industry who are cashing out. Apart from cashing out, you're also very successful at what you do. Now, as DJ Spinner, what do you think is your success factor? What makes you hmm. stand out? Well, I mean, what makes me stand out? The cap. Maybe. Okay, yeah, I've come with questions. <laughs> uh, basically, what, yeah. I mean, and all I'm asking is, why yeah. do you think you're so successful? I mean, I feel like I'm growing, you know. Yeah. And no success is, is how you perceive it. You know, a lot of people feel success is talking about back accounts and the rest of that. But I feel, I feel hard work. Pays. I feel, I, I, I work a lot. I feel, I feel, I mean, I'm, if you look at my, the people I've worked with in the past, the list is big, you know, I've, I've done a lot of stuff. I've been there for some artists from the transition level from to nobody to someone. I've been there for <clears throat> radio stations, for TVs, for a lot of events, you know, so I feel if you remain consistent and be focused on what you, what you set out to do, you definitely, 
is definitely get there. Get there. Mm. So what is the relationship you have with you know the other young, mm. fresh, high DJs. fly DJs? Because you guys are quite high fly. I can <laughs> list like six of y'all in my head. But I don't know about you guys. It's almost like the new school DJ. I understand. I mean, I I'll think you. I'll mm -hmm. think uh, DJ Exclusive. I'll yeah. think DJ Obi. I'll think DJ K. Yeah, Neptune. Neptune. So Five say, of you guys. Yeah. So say, yeah. So I mean, did you guys have a meeting where you thought let's, <laughs> let's change the look of things? So, um, Actually, I mean, it, I think things when things are working, they just fall into place. Okay. You know, the hair that we have is a new is a new age and. No idea is original. Why you're trying to work on your brand? A lot of people are out there doing their brand. Myself and Neptune go way back also. We worked together at the radio stations back in the day. So oh, wow. we were the two like most out after DJs yeah. from the radio station and it's just God, Joe. <laughs> okay. I mean I'm I'm really, I'm beaming. It's like God. I mean every time I meet people who are very creative with their talent, he actually makes me uh, very excited. Yeah. And you have a great amount of media experience as well. It's not easy. You have worked on various radio True. stations and even nightclubs. Do True. you think all that prepared you for where you are right now? Yes, most deaf. Most deaf. Experience. You can't knock out experience. I feel like um, mm. No matter what it is, you know, you have to go through a phase to take you to the next level, to take you to the next level, you know. I've done, I've done all kinds of events. I've done some events that didn't even get paid just Aww. for the love, you know. So people just see you today and they think that, ah, uh, it started yesterday. It's so good. You know? Just because it's shining now, <laughs> yeah. they think it's always <laughs> like that. So I just always say that if you know what you're doing, just make sure you stay focused. Just oh, stay wow. focused. Oh, wow. Don't. All right, so if you weren't a DJ, what do you think you'd be doing? Ah, if I wasn't DJing, I'd probably be using my school degree. I have a very good, I have very good results. Was that 2-1, 2-2? I have a 2-1. Wow! Yeah, I have a good you degree. You did? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I feel like oh, this head is not big for nothing. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Well, you can join this conversation. All you have to do is to tweet at us. Go on Twitter. We are www.twitter.com forward slash hit TV. DJ Spinol is still yes, in the boss. building. He is spinning all around the chair. And you we will be know. spinning with him and asking him questions that I think you guys want answers for, right? We'll be right back. Back to the matter. Seriously? Would you honestly wear three wristwatches all at the same time? So why carry multiple SIMs? Introducing Airtel Talk More, a great new product with which you can call any network at the same low rate and enjoy up to 200% more value on calls, SMS and data with your Airtel line, making it fun to stay connected to family and friends. You also get five times bonus on your daily usage. Dial star 234 hash to activate. Come alive with Airtel. Welcome back to Trending on Heap TV. My name is Tokyo Makiwa and I have the amazing DJ Spinoff with me in the building today. Now, uh, let's talk about your mixtapes because you have so many. Yes, so mixtapes for my fans. And you keep dropping mixtape after mixtape. And I have mixtape. one coming up this week. Wow. <laughs> well, you probably have the most amongst, you know, every other DJ that is out there. I mean, what inspires just... this mixtape where you just feel like... Adding this person, that person on the track. Yeah, well, the, the, the whole idea behind it is basically, for me though, is basically to promote, you know, the Nigerian content and African music. Because I noticed that from the internet, I have a lot of people who love me from far away, people I will probably never get to see, you know, from US, Canada, UK, you know. And a lot of them have not been home in a, in a long time. So my mixtape is something that transport all what is going on in Nigeria, like mm. music going on. No, no, it's always for free. You it's should think about making money from it. It's always for free. I mean, you can make money off, you know, other people's copyrighted works. That's not professional. Mm. Some, Some people, people do make, make money of it. If I do, they'll sue me for that. But then you, you, as a DJ, you also have songs out there yeah, with artists. Yeah, I have, you know, where, that's where, where you probably Which is the rainy thing now, because every DJ has got an artist singing here, yeah, you know. It's not, it's, not like, uh, it's not like a raining thing. It's just... At some point in your career, you have to be able to bring back all the experiences you've learned from, you know, DJing and from listening to sounds into creating what you think is a good sound. So DJs that probably do that, these are DJs who have, you know, longevity in the business and they've, they've known what sounds was like 
five years ago, what it was like ten years ago, you know. So that wealth of experience, they try to take that into studio to now create. I hear that you have a, a, a single featuring Burn Boy. Yes, smart. And, you know, it has been getting quite a lot of airplay. They love it. So should we expect more of that sort of stuff this year? Um, this year, definitely, definitely. I have other tracks also with a lot of artists. I've recorded, um, the album is ready. But, you know, just to create that perfect single is the hard thing. So you have to, you know, be well planned about that and, you know, so just wait for the right time. I mean, after that album might not drop this year, it might not drop this year because sounds keep changing. And me, every time I listen to it, I'll be like, nah, 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 nah. Let's change that. Let's, let's bring this in. And that will stop because I just want the best for the album. So we'll just shut to two like major parts of the video. Mm -hmm. The video is gonna be fun, trust me. Why am I not in the video? Like, the video is the gonna be nice. I know right, I know right. Like, you see you Mr. Director here, Daniel Ugo, can you hear that now? Oh, you need to cool. come and cry <laughs> this mother. Hello. <laughs> I'm waiting right here. <laughs> now, I you use a lot of uh, uh, acronyms. You play around with loads of words yeah. like DJ Spin All. Yeah, and, AKA uh, but the cat cab. also means crazy A. Party. Like, you already know. I mean, I mean every so time I DJ, that's what they say. They say, yo, that was a crazy A party, you know? You know so, Aww. that's the cap. God. <laughs> so uh, you are what they call official DJ, yes sir, as well, and that has you know got to be a lot of work because then you get to travel with your artists. How True. demanding is that? Um, for one day call, I mean one day call is someone who is very very deep when it comes to music. He's very talented, you know. It's just in, it's not that kind of regular guy. You can just you know <clears throat> put walks on tables and jumps on it, you know. So one day's project, we have rehearsals for the shows then travel it's hard though i mean yeah i mean because you also have yeah. like a industry night as well. i have industry night yeah. i have beat fm i have butterscotch event i mean he's just cashing out <laughs> <laughs> i have butterscotch i have um um was it life's pro spot mm. It's fun, fun though, it's good. So let's look at the growth in the Nigerian music industry. Yeah. From your point of view, how well and where do you think we are now? Um, from where we're coming from to where we are right now, I would say that we've done quite well, averagely quite well. We just need to keep that quality. It's, I'm not too feeling the quality of songs mm -hmm. dropping, you know. I feel like we've been able to create that image that we're doing something, yes. you know, that the foundation. Sound, yeah, we've say, been African able, sound. yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. some, some of our songs have like been on leaps for with governors, governors, presidents. Mm. I mean, Liberian president the other day was singing, um, was singing, um, was this Kesi song, Limpopo. Huh? Yeah, so, so they, that's how far these songs have gone. I've seen um, some governors use, um, the video Skelly Wu has ringtones for their own phones. We're talking about governors yeah. and people in you know, high places. You have quite a number of them as friends, don't you? No, no, no. DJ, no. DJ, 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 And then you play with the president, you play everywhere. And then how competitive do you think it is with you guys? Do you think there's some competition going on with you DJs? Or everyone is, you know, your bro? Um, for me, I, I don't see a competition for me, really. I just want, I just do my thing in you know if you want to compete to compete with yourself you know i don't see competition there's not i mean the sky is wide enough for whoever to fly you can fly you know my focus my utmost plan and focus is to go into a show and not get dead drop a project and do it well that's my i don't think of anybody else so if there's a young person who's watching yeah. this right now and thinking i want to be like dj you know i really want to be a dj i think i've got the skill yeah. i don't know how to go about launching my career yeah. what would be that one advice you give them my advice to anyone that wants to you know go into what i'm doing right now is just be sure because the road can be very bumpy <laughs> just be very sure i mean my first gig i was paid 500 bucks it's, it's not 500. When I say 500 bucks, people think 500k. 500, 500 naira. How yes. long ago was this? Uh, that was my first gig, actually. Yeah, I mean, how long that's, ago? That's about close to a decade now. Be sure if you have a passion and you can be patient. Mm. So if you if you're ready to put in work, if you're ready to be patient, if you're ready to remain consistent, and I mean, the one that should come first is God, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
Just yeah, just so with that, that, I think, I think you're, you're good. good. Wow, you're good. really, really interesting. Just, just, just be focused. Okay, you guys have heard it. You have to be focused. We're going to go on a quick break, and when we come back, you know what time it is, right? You it's time, time for is. nasty comments. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> They say you're only young once. There's no debating, we are debating, there's no limitation. Sample your sweat. We're going higher, start a rap at night, and we still make it. Do your wish. You're young at heart, you're young forever! Come alive with Airtel. Now, now you, you guys, guys know how much, much I love this part of the show, show don't you? I'm very naughty, I don't know what I'm going to help you. So let's just delve right into it. Now, do you read blogs? Uh, sometimes. Do you, what's the like most hurtful thing anyone has ever said about you or to you? Ah, hurtful. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. In face or. Well, maybe, maybe to your face, maybe with beating on the blog or. Some, some, some silly woman says something really painful. Okay, and do you want to talk about it? What she put, she, I think she, she was in a, it was in a car, you okay. know. I was trying to stop for her daughter to cross the road. And she just came to me and started yabbing and said, No, no, no. I mean, I think she just thought I was being reckless while driving. So she said something like, You're so stupid. Then she just went on. And I'm like, I'm still waiting for your daughter to pass. You stay, you know. That was really painful because, I mean, I could have just. Yeah, but you know what I always say? You never know what people are dealing with. Like, she probably has some crazy issues. Things like that don't even get to me, trust me. Well, it's really hard to find mean comments about you. Really? Like you. Really? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think they like me. Wow. Sell newspapers. And, and they I didn't find really anything. Really? Nothing about you. You're just a straightforward guy. Oh. Who loves to DJ. Thank you, you, thank you, else? thank you, thank you. Well, there are really still some good. people, right? Well, maybe about one. Just read them. Read them out and feel free to say. Oh wow. <laughs> Uh, I should read them out, right? Of course, of course. Take a, take a free shot back at them. Oh, God. Never heard of him before. Too cocky. He really thinks, he really does think highly of himself. Beside the cap he wears, is it yours? <laughs> this is nice, though. Wack song. Wack DJ. He's trying to add to fake Rolex. Rolex? <laughs> Where is Rolex? <laughs> Wow. Fell asleep at 3 old. <laughs> well, I think that what she means is probably she fell asleep listening to your song. Oh, oh. sleep well, my dear. Oh. <laughs> As I said, it was really hard finding comments. I mean, those were the three. And they're like, you know, maybe it's, three. It's, I mean, you see, the nature of the world, you can't. Yeah, you can't really please everyone. Mm. Before I even let Jesus you go, Christ of Nazareth. Yeah, you know, before I let you go, I do have to ask about your personal life. Hmm. Is there a special lady in your life? Hmm. Special lady. Where She's are you? Special. I'm looking for her. You're yeah. looking for special lady. Yeah, it will come. It will come. We're getting there. You know, it's about that time. So when, when was your last relationship? Um, uh, took uh, <laughs> my last relationship. Uh, I know when they do this, they don't want to say a certain time. So that dad goes, ah, you see, see, the relationship. See, see, there's nobody basically, really. So, so there's, there's no one in your life? Yeah. There are people in my life. A lot of people. So is there that special one person? There is. Uh, my mom is my life. I oh love her. Oh gosh. You know. Okay, let's, Sola. Since oh, you're not going to answer me, let me just talk about your bracelets. Like, I, I notice you wear loads of hand jewelry. Yeah, I like this stuff. So, and you're quite fashionable as well. Really? So what inspires your fashion sense? Um, I think I'm just that everyday enduring guy. Um, I've been like this. Uh, people say I've changed, but I think this is the way I've been dressing even from the uni. 
I'm just a simple guy. T-shirt and jeans, and my sneakers. I'm good. You know, it's holding back. You just have to tell no, me. No, there's me. nothing, so really. Trust I feel me. it in my brain. Oh. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming to spend time with me. You already know I had fun, man. I, I really appreciate it. I mean, and, and I you know, you're such a cool guy. Oh, you're thank too you, cool love. for school, man. Thank you, love. Guys, what do you guys think about this interview? <laughs> Tweet at us and, you know, let us know what you think. Go to www.twitter.com forward slash forward slash hip TV. Now, I'm going to let DJ Spin on go, but you can't go yet. You have to check out our top five trending videos now. At number five on the top five trending series is The Walking Dead. At number four, House of Cards. I have no patience for useless things. Moments like this require someone who will act, who will do the unpleasant thing, the necessary thing. Sitting at number three on the top five training series is Lecky Wives Season 2. What is he talking about? From the beginning has been a plan. Oh my sweat! <laughs> Coming in at number two is Scandal. Home. You can't leave until the morning, that's what the doctor said. Anyway, you didn't have any. You were wearing my shirt when you fell. When I fell running from you. You didn't need to run. Who are you? Why are you spying on me? Why are there cameras in my apartment? You've been filming me, is that it? For the President of the United States, you what? Do him favors? Work for him? So did the President send you in to do surveillance on me? Is dating me, sleeping with me part of your surveillance technique? Did he ask you to do that? Just all in a day's work? What is your relationship with And at number one on the top five training series is everybody's favorite, Game of Thrones. You understand why I did it? He ran away. They were the deserter. You understand why I had to kill him? I, Eddard, of the House Stark, sentence you to die. The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. My sweet summer child, what do you know about fear? There's a war coming, Ned. I don't know when, but it's coming. <laughs> You may be saying, nah, well, that's all we can take on the show today. It was really nice having you guys join us. And also, massive, massive shout out to DJ Spinner. Keep spinning all. Make sure you join the conversation. You can follow us on Instagram. We are at Trending on Hip TV. You can also watch this online. Go to www.hiptv.tv. Inspire someone today. Go out there. Do something nice. Make someone smile. Be good to one another. I will see you on the next Trending. Goodbye.